One of my favorite filmmaking techniques involves using what is called a split diopter. Now you probably already know what a split diopter is because you're watching this video, but a split diopter is when objects in the background are in focus, while at the same time objects in the foreground are in focus. I love this technique, it creates a forced perspective. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own split diopters in an efficient and cost-effective manner. How to make a split diopter. You will need safety glasses, safety gloves, sandpaper, a ruler, a camera tool set, a circular polarizer, glass running or breaking pliers, a glass cutter or scorer, glass cutting oil, a permanent marker, alcohol, black paint, a paintbrush, a lens cloth, and of course, your diopters. There is plus one, plus two, plus four, and plus ten. With this method, you cannot cut the plus ten. It's far too thick. You can, of course, stack your other diopters and get fairly close to a plus ten if you really wanted to do that. First, we're going to take our diopter and find the grooves inside of it. Using our camera tool set, we're going to turn to the left and slowly release the ring that is holding it together. After a little while, you will be able to use your finger and it'll pop right out. After that, you don't really need these pieces unless you did not buy a circular polarizer, in which case you will need them later. It is exactly six centimeters across the diopter, so we need to measure three centimeters to the middle. This can be kind of a little bit of a process because you need to find the perfect halfway point that you're looking for. Or perhaps you want to make a letterbox diopter and you want to measure only two centimeters in. The choice is yours. Now we're going to take our glass cutter and we're going to fill it with oil. Give it a couple of practice runs, make sure the oil is running, and then you need to make one straight cut across. Very quick, it's kind of scary, but just follow that line that you made. Put your gloves and your glasses on, shards can fly. Now you take your pliers. Find that kind of perfect midway point. This is a plus one, you can't quite feel the tension, it just snaps. So kind of aim for the middle, it'll come right off after a moment. Sometimes you have to find a better grip, kind of like I'm doing there, and boom. I was able to get one really good snap, and the other one was okay. I might save that for later and turn it into a two centimeters across. Be sure to clean up those little shards, they're, they're very sharp and they can get into your skin. Not fun. So now you take your sandpaper and sand on those edges, which again are also quite sharp. Once you're pretty happy with that, go ahead and get your alcohol and your lens cloth, and wipe off all of your permanent marker marks. So now we take our black paint and we're going to paint the outside. What it does is it reduces any glare coming in. Now we take this circular polarizer and we go ahead and do the same that we did with the diopter, remove it in those notches. Now, when we go ahead and put the split diopter in to our piece, we need to make sure that it is facing the correct way and we tighten it up and voila, right now you have a split diopter, a plus one, and it, it's, it certainly turns so it's easy to get around. Here are a few examples of me having used my first iterations of the diopters. Sometimes I would use two of the smaller ones. Now, dependent on specifications, I do create and ship out these diopters worldwide at a pretty reasonable rate. So if this does seem like a little bit too much work for you, feel free to reach out. My email is linked below in the description of this video. Otherwise, happy DIY experimenting. I hope that you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.